Hi everybody, Van Ponce of Preston Lane and Partners. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Rosé, one of a uh, very important topic uh, in today's market and there's a bunch of different reasons why. So without any further ado, let's get going. I wanna talk about a couple of different things, starting with vintage. Vintage is very important. Right now, we're getting ready to come into the 2019 vintage that'll be shipping into the United States from Europe or from wherever. And then also the 2019s will be ready for California, Oregon, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, and they'll be moving this way and out to the market. Now, one of the things that's interesting is everybody seems to think about rosé being the got it. You got to have the 2019s. Well, that's not true. In fact, what we have here are 2018s and 2017s, and there's not a darn thing wrong with 2017 vintage. Heck, there's nothing wrong with 2016. But let's do the first thing first and say, "Hooray for America drinking more rosé." Rosés have always been maligned by the American wine drinkers because they view them as too sweet, thanks to Behringer White Zinfandel. Well, that's no longer the case. People are understanding that rosé is a wine for every day, even in the dead of winter. But the next thing that has to happen in the marketplace is that consumers need to really get experimental and taste older vintages of rosé. I'm not suggesting that you keep your rosé for 20 years. That's not it at all. It's not like a Bordeaux where you want to have it for 20 years or champagne for 10 years or anything like that. But at the end of the day, a nice bottle of wine that is a couple of years old that's a rosé is fine to drink. There's nothing wrong with it. This is a 2017 from Provence and it's delicious. Next thing I want to talk about, rosé in the proper glass. So uh, we had the chance to, to visit Maison Favreau that made this particular wine, and we were in uh, Henri's house. And we noticed the first thing is that he had these very, very large glasses. And I thought to myself, why would he have such large glasses? I asked him, he said, you know something? These are very expansive wines, and the best thing you can do with the expansive wines is have them in a big glass so that you can really smell them. And boy, is he right about that. They, they come and you smell them and they're absolutely beautiful. So when you serve your rosé, don't try to serve it in such a small glass. Put it in a larger glass where you can really, really get a good nose on the wine. Next, one of the things that Americans think is you can't put an ice cube in your wine. Now, I'm not suggesting that you need to have an ice cube and a nice bottle of Napa or Bordeaux or Champagne. That's not my comment whatsoever. But don't think for one second that in a nice glass of rosé, you can't put an ice cube or two, or even three if you like. Because at the end of the day, the wine is better if it's slightly chilled. So, first things first, thank you for drinking more rosé. Rosé is absolutely a beautiful wine to have with food, family, and friends. Next, don't be afraid of the vintage. Don't get hung up on it. You can drink rosés up to five years. Next, make sure you have the right glassware. And finally, don't be afraid to put an ice cube in it. That's all for today. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you the next time. Abo Trasante.